Hello, and welcome back to Wild Joel 3D! In this short series, we're going to show you how to take your car builds to the next level using the amazing 3D software called Blender. So if you want to learn how to build a car, rig and animate it, and even put liveries on it, then you've come to the right place. Consider subscribing and dropping a like or, heck, come say hi! Hello! First, I'm going to show you how to build a proper race car. One with a full livery. The problem you'll come across when building a car is, how do I put a sticker on the surface? For the greatest time I was using a modifier to shrink wrap my object onto the surface. This is great for singular application for just like one sticker, but what do you do when the whole car is like a cavalcade of stickers overlapping each other etc? If you use the shrink wrap mod, you'll soon come into an issue of layering at minute scales and you'll run into like shearing issues. So how do we solve this? With a texture map. We need to wrap the model like a Christmas present and hand paint those stickers on ourselves. Don't worry, it's a lot easier than it sounds. So let's first discuss a few things regarding the state of the model before going forward. So first we need to make sure the scale is uniform across all our objects. So select the object and press Ctrl A and set the scale back to 1.0. This incorrect scale is from scaling objects in object mode instead of edit mode. Just so you know. The next thing we need to prepare is the objects that need the texture map. I merge all the layers that require the texture into one layer using Ctrl J. Now we have one solid object, we can now unwrap it. Now we've completed these criteria, we can finally make a start on the livery. If you're learning to use Blender and building cars like me, then you've probably never ever opened this tab yet. So open the Texture Paint tab. Now we're in the Texture Paint tab, we can see an immediate problem, and it is that I've not selected the object. So the first thing you need to make sure you do is when you're in layout mode is select the object you want then go into texture paint and then you can see that it's a different color this color means that there is no image texture on it this like it's missing a file so what we need to do now is come up to here on this top tab here and we can see it says no textures here we're on the car paint that we want there and we want a texture so if we press the plus button and we want a base color so we select base color, if you give it a name, like never it, and make sure it's fairly large. It's for a car, you're probably gonna look at needing 10,000 by 10,000 pixels. It's a big picture, expect your computer to break, you know what I mean? Yeah, so then after that, you pick your color. I know that my color's slightly blue, and it's about this, like a very whitish gray. So if we pick that, correct color of the car and then press the OK we can see that we've got color yeah and if you look in your shader editor you can see that we now have a texture that's connected to our base color I can't make this any more simple than it already is now so so what we need to do now is create a stencil that we can paint onto the side so if we go into X and we, we go side onto it here. What I've already done already has been in Photoshop and made this. So what we need to do now is create a new texture. In this sidebar here, look, we create a new texture. It'll make a black box. Now, obviously there's nothing in there, is there? So what we need to do now is go to the texture tab on this side all the way down. And we need to click open and actually put one in. Yeah. So I've got my livery pre-made in Photoshop here. Look, press the open image and then it pops up here. Now, obviously, we need to correct the aspect ratio because it's all tiles and stuff like that. So if we go to this one here and scroll back down to here, look, we can click Image Aspect, and it should correct the image for you. If you look there, look, it pops up on your screen. And then... <laughs> so now we have this image showing up when we run our cursor over it. What that means is, is we've got an active stencil. So if we press the right mouse button we can move it around drag it around if you press and hold control you can rotate it if you press and hold shift you can make it bigger and smaller yeah so go it to round about what you want you know what i mean adjust it and then once you've got it in place 
you basically press the left mouse button and you just paint it on basically stencil it on so you go around make sure you cover <clears throat> make sure you cover every single bit of space because there's nothing more annoying than finding a bald patch you know what I mean I like to go over it twice just in case you know what I mean like take your time go over it because it's labor intensive on your computer as well go up and down as well as left and right and in theory now if we rotate our camera we have a livery all right so if we're going to back into layout mode so we don't have that annoying thing over the top and there you go it's it's that easy and that you've got your livery you know what i mean if you want to do it for the rear you do the same just square it off on the thing you know what i mean go back into texture paint well rather square it off in texture paint and then you can like just do the same again you know what i mean i remember buttons i just blob that there do it on the back paint it on obviously it takes a bit of time look it's like confusing my computer you have to be methodical when you do this because obviously you're going to get like overlapping issues and but it's amazing this little trick such a simple little thing and you can put anything on your car you want yeah i hope you like this it was fun making this video and i feel like that's pretty much it now you know what i mean <laughs> that was the trick i wanted to show you just so cool man if you want to see any more videos good because I'm making them. <laughs> I'm not asking you if you want them because I'm making them. I love this stuff. These videos for me are like little go-to references when I forget to how to do it. If I haven't done it for a month or two, I can basically come back and reference what I've done. And it's dead simple. It's awesome. There you go in rendered mode. Oof. Oof. And you can see there, look. You can see it, look. I've missed a bit there. So you have to make sure you brush it on properly, you know what I mean? Make sure you get good coverage. And that's how you make a livery, basically. It's dead good. <laughs>